I got to get through this. I got to get through this with a straight face. How many of y'all out there saw Juwana Man? And did you like it? Well, Boosie strikes again. He said they going to come into the WNBA. And it ain't going to be a damn thing that you can do about it. So let me read this article for you. And I want to know your opinion. Because you already know what I feel like. The activist in New York Liberty, Lashia or Lashia Clarendon, on Friday, tweeted a story and photos of their top surgery and celebrated a message of strength for the trans community, writing, We've always existed and no one can erase us. Well, Clarendon, who identifies as trans non-binary and uses she, her, they, them, he, him pronouns, was quickly met with support from across the women's basketball community, including from their team, the New York Liberty, as well as the WNBA's Players Union, the WNBA Commissioner Kathy Engelbert, and numerous athletes across the league. Okay. So, um, we are proud that Lacia is part of the WNBA, and we know that their voice and continued advocacy will not only support and help honor and uplift many non-binary and trans people, Engelbert wrote in her Instagram story, but they will also encourage empathy and understanding for the community across all levels of sport. Um, so, what happens when It's a um, transgender man wanting to play in the WNBA. See, I think you're opening up a can of worms. If I'm reading this correctly, that you, you see, you all y'all always want to go. Y'all always want to do too much. You give a my mama used to say, "Give you an inch, you'll take a mile." See. And what happens when you create stuff like this and make, you know, or don't have people accountable for um, things or in this last 30 year of generational weaklings where you don't have to have a diploma, but you can walk across the stage anyway and we won't hold you accountable for your egregious behavior but we'll punish everybody else that do it right really in a sense because we don't want you to fail left out we don't want to hurt your feelings and that's why we got a group of entitled people so fragile i can't understand why they would get mad at um the book white fragility i mean i really don't because when i think about some of this stuff. Then you go to Florida and you look at Ron DeSantis because he, he don't want to talk about African American studies, which it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we're not going to be silenced. We're not going to be silenced. And the people that want to know, they're going to know. When, the, when you want to know, the teacher will be sent. So you're not doing nothing, DeSantis. But the fact of the matter is, he don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. Look at these people. These people are morbid. And so when I look at this, um, in a, listen, let me, let me just say this. In a statement, Ann Lieberman, the director of policy and programs for the Athlete Alley, Ally, 
an advocacy group against homophobia and transphobia in the sport wrote, We are proud today and every day to call Laisha Clarendon an athlete ally, ally ambassador. Their visibility as the WNBA's first non-binary open transgender athlete is nothing short of life-saving. Now, so if I'm looking at this correctly, she was born a cisgender woman and she's cutting off her breasts to be a trans man. Okay. I, I, okay. I, okay. If that's what you want to do, but you still was born a cisgender woman and I don't have no problem with you playing in the league. Bruce Jenner. Oh my God. Or uh, She Ra. I wish I had T.S. Madison to help me out with this because she would do it. T.S. T. Would, would help me out with this because I'm having a hard time. With these uh, Joanna mans now want to come and play into the cisgender women league. And I don't think it's fair at all. It's just like when they joined the swimming team. And when they swam against men, they was 500 in 500 place. And then when they swim against women, because their damn chest and lungs are so big, they end up in first place. I don't think this is... Where are we going with this? What's the end game? That when you walk down the street and your kids, there's no difference between a man and a woman? That's the end game? Come on. Don't. Whoever is trying to twist the people's mind like this is just showing you just how, in my opinion, how far. Well, let me just say it. <coughs> Satan makes evil fair semen. <coughs> Did you hear me? Satan makes evil fair semen. Leave me y'all comments below. <laughs>